Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this Unsano PC streaming webcam with ring light and ATP. The yeah, listing says full HD web camera compatible with Xbox with dual microphone autofocus uh, plug and play 360 degrees rotatable and it's currently listed for around uh, $80 on Amazon. It's a pretty new style, new thing uh, with three level of adjustable uh, brightness and uh, has automatic light uh, low light correction and yeah it looks like it's a really new thing and it's sold uh, under a couple of different uh, brand names here we have the details if you can see something and has H264 encoding that's pretty new i mean not super new but it's not a bad thing i think for webcams it's a little bit difficult to read here i guess so but you can see everything anyway on the amazon listing which i will put down into the description yeah here you can see what you can use it for hd recording here the product number so let's take it out of the box and see it's the first time i take it out i'm surprised how it will look how large it is i was expecting pretty large yeah uh, yeah it's actually smaller than what i was expecting i was expecting a larger thing so it looks pretty interesting of course we have this protection i'll remove that later here the official uh product number HT600 and uh, yeah it's pretty heavy it uh, looks definitely really new not uh, one of these old style things uh, it's really really modern and uh, the question is also how uh, does this work it has a couple of interesting features here uh, we can move the thing around you can see that yeah it's pretty flexible but it doesn't have a, like a spring so sometimes we have uh, some kind of a spring it will be interesting to see how we can attach this to the like monitor also how long the cable is so from what i can feel the cable makes a good impression it's pretty long yeah definitely five six feet or something like that yeah i guess it's listed anyway the amazon listing and as always i'm going to show you the full instructions if ever possible so you can read everything and make a better buy decision or if you bought used or you lost your instructions yeah that's also really important software download yeah it will be interesting to see if we already can use that uh, without software or if it's really needed at least we can download we don't get a cd-rom sometimes we get a cd-rom and we can see really it's uh, working for android xbox uh, linux uh, google chrome yeah mac os windows uh, a lot yeah here's the detailed manual let's see how many pages we have for english Oh, that's uh, a lot. That's everything only in English. So I'll just to the Windows part, I would say. It's still a lot, so I have to hurry a little bit. So, yeah, I hope you can still see that and it's focusing. So just go on at 1080p or the highest resolution anyway. Put it on pause on every page and then uh, you should have plenty of time to read yeah the inside here is a little bit protected yes a lot here i don't know what they are describing here usually such webcams or plug and play so when does it end here that's really a lot yeah it doesn't end so yeah i'm stopping here i don't know yeah that's everything really detailed 
it's FAQ here. There's really a lot. I hope it's not so complicated as it looks like. I've never seen such a user manual uh, for just a webcam. That's insane. So especially when it's so modern, I mean, yeah, maybe for old style, but not even for old style, for old style uh, webcams, we are used that we just plug and play and use it. So yeah, and there is also a built-in light, yeah, and uh, that's actually the name, yeah, it's called uh, ring light and you can touch here, it's called the built-in beauty light, it has three levels, you can touch first, second, third, and then it goes to off and you can start from scratch. Yeah, but you cannot only touch here, you can touch everywhere where we have this metal uh, around here. And also I wanted to show you the microphone. Microphone yeah, is uh, two microphones here. One is on this side, one is on this side. Yeah, so this is how it looks on my monitor. My monitor is pretty thick. It's an old style monitor. I mean, it's not one of the super old style, but I think it's about four years old. New ones are a little bit thinner, but you can really see that we can nicely adapt, I guess, to almost every thickness when we see we can just squeeze it and so it would fit probably for everything that's yeah, not bad and then we can adjust the angle here so you can see we can even point it up or straight or down so i mean it's not super secure but it's quite secure i've been definitely worse so yeah it's uh, interesting to see how good this really holds here without even a spring and we can see that it doesn't have a cover so that's a negative point of course some of the new cameras or a lot of the cameras these days they have a cover to make sure that it's protected nobody can record you just without permission but the good thing is you can really use it on a usb hub and uh, especially on a USB 3.0 hub, it's working really good. And the good thing is when you have like a switchable USB hub, you can turn it off and you can see when you touch it here, there's, here's the light. And uh, when the light is not turning on, then it's not working. I mean, of course, you will have to touch to make sure uh, it's not the same thing as when it's covered, but at least you have some uh, possibilities. Okay, here we are on the screen. I'm not recording with the camera. I'm screen capturing here. So let's plug it in. I have plugged it in in a USB hub, which is of course not recommended, but I'm just trying to do worst case. Now I've plugged it in, setting up the device. We are setting up USB live camera. So let's see what happens now. Yeah, device is ready. USB live camera is set up and ready to go. So let's see if this really works. This is the Microsoft uh, camera thing. You can install this uh, for free from the Microsoft store. So it's more or less built in with Windows 10. And usually what we have to do, we have to flip this over here. So I'm trying to do that. Let's see if we get a picture. Yeah, we get it nice and clear. Oh, wow. That's a difference compared to every other cam which I have had in the past. That's really awesome. Can you see that? And that's even really close. I mean, these cameras are not really built for that. So I'm holding the box for you and you can see it. It has definitely an autofocus. So sometimes it's uh, focusing and sometimes, yeah, now it's out focus, coming back to focus. So maybe it's in a short range, but it's, uh, I mean, this is just like uh, six inches. Uh, yeah, it's definitely, it's a little bit difficult to say for me, but this is huge. I can tell you, this is huge quality, my friends. Uh, this is absolutely insane. So, I mean, even this, you can easily read that if the screen recording is working good, 
you should be able to read that and i mean that's way beyond from everything what i had in the past so it definitely makes sense to spend a little bit more money on this so everything what you were used in the past forget about these things so here i can show you something which i've been testing just uh, like a month or two ago and uh, they are still selling a lot of these devices i mean uh, thousands of these are still sold and this is a manual focus and the lens and everything is totally outdated they pro probably just took a uh, very old stuff old sensors and so on and they t uh, put it in a new case i mean even the case looks outdated and the result of course i mean you can use that you can make uh, live streaming with this but uh, also the result looks uh, terrible so that's a total different thing so i'm trying to move this camera a little bit around so you can see maybe what to expect here i have my happy birthday balloon from uh, yeah that's very old so i go a little bit around hope we can see that i mean i cannot zoom in but you get the point here so everything is really super sharp so i point a little bit down on the floor and uh, also you can see that here it's super sharp i have it here a little bit far away course it doesn't have stabilization but you can see that's insane that's like with a gopro that's a really good camera uh wow that's real 1080p no doubt that's the texture of the wall and when i go close you can see that's super sharp everything the happy birthday again you can see wow that's amazing that's really really absolutely mind-blowing i didn't have anything even close to that yeah that's absolutely insane there is not much to add i don't know why they are doing this really uh, large booklet of instructions at least for windows you can see there's nothing needed um yeah it's focusing also here my t-shirt that's the good thing you can see it's focusing here and you can see everything up to here i mean it's a little bit going back and forth from focusing but it has a really wide range so this is insane this is amazing this is yeah really mind-blowing if you have still one of these old cameras yeah it's definitely time to move on to this thing so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to record now a little bit from this recording thing here from this app um, so you will see how the sound is I think I can use that to record yeah I should be able to record a little bit here and I put that also in this video so you get an idea how the microphone is because now I'm using the normal uh, microphone the one which I'm using also always on my channel now I'm going to use the one from the camera but the good thing is I'm recording here from the USB hub it's from a USB hub of course it's a USB 3.0 hub but still it's a hub and some of these cameras are really struggling with hubs and looks like this is not struggling that's a huge advantage a lot of these cameras they need to be plugged in directly into the computer and uh, every for everything else it's slowing down means uh, the quality is going down dramatically or also or almost no picture at all and here it hasn't been a problem so i'm switching now for the rest of the video so i was trying to make the final part of this review directly on this camera and the problem was that it didn't record any sound so i started recording here i was talking for five minutes and at the end i just had a video on no sound so uh, how i solved this issue was i rebooted the pc so to make uh, every driver or the new drivers working so if you still have problems i still recommend as a very last resort plug in your usb plug from this 
camera here uh, directly into compute into your computer if it doesn't work on the USB hub but usually it looks like this should work with this camera so I'm going really now to record the final part on this camera directly so you get also the audio yeah, here there's one thing before I forget here you have this additional function now with the autofocus so we here we have also the manual focus you can see we can move the focus point around that's really good but we can also have the autofocus here we have uh, yeah, uh, exposure settings and we have the camera you can see the quality we can make a two megapixel picture and we can uh, put the uh, video quality maximum 1080p uh, 16 to 9 with 30 frames that's the maximum here as you can see so I'll close this again you can see I can make a picture here and it's really good quality definitely so I'm going back here to record the final section of this review yeah looks like I'm still not finished here uh, what we have to do now is to go to the audio settings like here we have the open sound setting sound and then here we have the input and we have a couple of things here and yeah this is the microphone USB live camera audio and I hope you can hear me this is what you have to set if you want to have the sound from this camera directly and not from another microphone yeah this is the final part of this review I had to try a little bit around with the audio and I really had to go to the system settings and pick the audio from this camera here and then reboot the Windows uh, webcam recording software and now I'm recording from this camera not only the uh, video but also the audio and it's pretty impressive uh, for such a camera these the audio is really it's also the best which I have ever seen of course if you spend one or two hundred dollars or something like that you probably get better audio or so but the microphone opening is even to the back and it's really recording in good quality I'm pretty impressed I think I could even do some uh, YouTube videos with this audio with this microphone so this is absolutely insane so I think that's it for now I hope I've covered everything uh, if I forgot yeah, just ask me and I'm always happy to help so yeah this is it and I will definitely put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description yeah somewhere here probably <laughs> so you can check it out order it right from there if you like it and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time